I swear they left me out alone, but I fell into a deep sleep and I was gone. So Elmira was incorporated as a city in 1864 during the midst of the Civil War. And at the time, Elmira was a training depot, a prisoner of war camp, and um, a rendezvous point for soldiers. The wealth that came from all of the government contracts sort of propelled Elmira into the future and into a spot of, of regional prominence because they had the businesses that were sort of built up over the time. There were several rail lines that converged here, plus the canal. And we sort of rode that wave of wealth right through the middle of the 20th century until we got to the 1950s and 60s when there started to be a precipitous decline in, in heavy industry and also the rail lines. So we're right on the river and there have been a number of floods. The big ones in the 20th century were 1946 and 1972. 1972 is the one most people remember because it caused the most amount of damage. It was incredibly devastating economically, cost billions of dollars worth of damage. And it also came at a time when Elmira was already on the downswing and it sort of accelerated that downward trajectory. It's just been stuck in a rut since 72 flood and it's never recovered a spot where a lot of buildings used to exist was basically raised and a park was put in. We were named in a USA Today article uh, as being one of the cities that is still in an economic recession that never recovered. Uh, after that USA Today article, it just was, I think it really opened people's eyes. We're never getting back to that. We're not gonna be what we were in the 1930s and 40s and 50s, but I think we have the opportunity right now to become something else that can be just as wonderful but completely different. I don't know whose house is home. Elmira's poised for a comeback finally. Things are moving and I think HGTV being here would push it even farther and a little bit faster. You know, this will be a, a, a stepping point for us to go in, an, in a good direction. And I think by them coming here, it will give people hope. Mars Future, I believe it's very bright. Um, we've got a lot of great energy and resources. We have such beautiful, exceptional architecture. There's a lot of community-driven events. There's arts. We're good at partying. We're, we're good at having a good time. We are experiencing, we have the new medical school coming. We have a bunch of new restaurants opening. I think this would be a great opportunity for us to kind of take an, another leap, another step forward in that process. So I think just the fact that we're here should show HGTV how much this would mean to this city and how committed the people are in Elmira to bring about change. I think we need hope and we need hope. Elmira is probably the most perfect place in the United States when you're looking for a story of redemption. When you see what Elmira was just a short time ago in our parents' lifetime, to see what happened with a simple flood and, and urban renewal policy, you can really take Elmira as a cross-section of America. To build off of that and to involve the community members here and spread it, you know, not just downtown, but some of the outlying areas, the neighborhoods, um, where people are living, I think would be a really good thing. There's a lot of government money focused on downtown initiatives, but unfortunately there's not a lot to the south side of Elmira. We have some beautiful old homes uh, that have uh, gone neglected. And I immediately fell in love with the, the historical homes, the buildings we have here. A lot of beautiful architecture from people who lived here many, many years ago. And, and you can see the rich history that it used to have because all these buildings that are up um, have been up for years and years and they still even have the old markings on them and you can see you know, it just makes you wonder if these walls could talk. Uh, myself and college both sell real estate here so the real estate market is great. There's a lot to offer. I think it has a lot of history. It has beautiful properties, beautiful homes. Um, the people that are from Elmira are pretty loyal. They come back here. Seeing the community finally have some momentum to improve. And that's been something I haven't seen my entire life here. So it's a great time to try to build on that. If you want to take over a town, why not Elmira? If you want to take over a town, why not Elmira? If you want to take over a town, 
why not Elmira? If you want to take over a town, why not Elmira? If you want to take over a town, why not Elmira? Why not Elmira? Why not Elmira? Why not Elmira? If you want to take over a town, why not Elmira?